Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's edition of the Just Us Review. We like to take our favorite shows, whether they're in the realm of horror, they can be sci-fi, they can be supernatural. We don't care, just as long as it's good. And if we like it, we love it. If we hate it, God damn it, you don't hear about it. And today, we have to keep that gravy train rolling. Today, it, uh -huh, as Disney would say, the next stop is the uh, next episode of The Mandalorian, also referred to as The Tragedy. All right. It's some mixed reviews across this room about this episode, but you know what? I like to give everybody they say. Christian, let's start with you. Yeah, um, very mixed feelings. On the one hand, I'm like, Boba Fett is a fucking jobber. Who cares? But on the other hand, I'm like, there are no Jedi, so, and we need to expand this universe and talk about other shit besides assholes wielding laser swords and shit. So, I don't know. You tell me. Okay, say it. Go ahead, speak your piece. Uh, this episode was very silly. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, too. I'm gonna just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Talise, what about you? Um, I liked some parts of it. Uh, again, what we, Christian was saying on um, that we got to see more of Boba Fett and the expanding of it. Because last week we were saying, oh, uh, it's Boba Fett's armor. Boba Fett's probably a Mandalorian. And we found out that his dad was a foundling. And so it was just passed on to him because, you know, it was his father. And so it was nice that we got some more clarification of that because that was one of the bigger questions about this entire series when we found out that he had, you know, the same suit as Boba Fett in the 70s. But um, I just thought, there's... Okay, number one, why are you running to the child when you see people coming with jetpacks down and you also have a oh, jetpack? you're getting into the point. Sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, and on that one, uh, oh, remember, remember uh, Boba Fett made him put down his jetpack. No, but then he picked it back up, didn't no, he? Didn't. And wait, Boba Fett had a jetpack too. Boba Fett was off doing his dirt because he was like, wait, yo, shoot, wait, we're not going there right yeah. now. Yeah. There, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of strategical problems with this episode. Alright, John, what about, your, what about you? What, how do you feel about this? I, it, it's mixed for me, too. There were some good points, but there were some points that were kind of silly. Okay. And then I saw who directed it, and I was like, okay, that makes sense. So, <laughs> I didn't know until the episode was over. <laughs> to top off this Sunday, I'll say this. There was, a, and, and I'm going to echo the same thing people say. It. it was some, a lot of good stuff. But there's a lot of stuff that was power ragey <laughs> <laughs> about this episode. And I was like, <laughs> you know, it, it, I mean, it didn't, this, it didn't, it wasn't, it didn't make it a terrible episode for me. But it was just a couple of things that was going on. I was like, so can I who, make who made that choice? <laughs> 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 but but let's, let's let's let you know how we like easy. Let's start with the goods. Let, let's let let's make the I'm humble. Good. Can I go? Can I go first on good? Go for it. Yeah, come to me last. This mm -hmm. is the first time in canon. And look, look, Star Wars fans, fight me. I want that smoke. I I I I, I got I packed the heat. I got the burner. This is the first time in canon Boba Fett has ever been cool. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Look, ever. Look, ever. And, uh, and look, can I amend uh, that statement? This is the first time in canon Boba Fett has ever been, air quote, cool, air quote. No. Well, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that because he was better outside of the food. You didn't need the suit. I don't know. He turned into the Terminator. So, 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 I was so like, what thing, do you need D rockets so, for? So, so here's the thing to, to jump on him and defend him. Uh, the choreography, the fight choreography looked better outside of the suit. Yeah, he he, like, he, he, was, he was putting it in. It looked like he was working with like a shower rod. It, I don't it, know what he was doing. <laughs> but he was doing better. He, he, he was taking a shower and he was like, oh, we got work to do. <laughs> Clean and strong. <laughs> but I, I, I'm glad to see that the fat man is back. Who else has any goods? Um, another good I had was you know more expansion on the bond between Grogu and the Mandalorian. Who's and Grogu? Yeah, we don't know what you're talking about. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we get to, you know, expand more on the relationship and I thought maybe because, you know, he's like, we, 
I have to bring you here and you have to do your thing so that I can so you can get training and I can leave you alone but what I thought they were trying to do was show us some reluctance in the baby's eyes because he doesn't want to leave the Mandalorian I, I took that differently I took that because to me I didn't feed anything from him I took that as that was Mando trying to convince himself that this needs to happen. Yeah. But like but so to defend her, I could see it on on baby old face. He don't wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and this is what and this is and, what and man don't keep talking to himself cause, cause the baby can't respond. <laughs> and he keep talking to himself like once this is over, you'll be with your Jedi buddies and I can do yeah, but then I'm like <laughs> you, you don't want that. <laughs> what the fuck is that for? Well this is why I'm agreeing with John because even Ahsoka is like they can't understand each other verbally, but the, but they can. Uh, there's a connection that they, that that she can bridge with him to make that communication. Mm -hmm. I still don't think that they can communicate with each other through language. So Mando is like uh, he's like I know I got to give him to his child to his uh, to his people or I have to raise him. And he's like, Am I really the person to raise this kid? I mean, I get he's fifty and everything, but I don't think I'm the best example of what to raise a but child. But at the same time, he's like. I want to let the baby go. <laughs> that's, that's the thing too. Like he's talking about, like I I can't train him and shit like that. I'm like, why does he need to train to do that stupid laser sword religion bullshit? No, it's not, like, it's not I'm train him to be a fucking Mandalorian. Well, not, even, not even on that level. No, it's like, but it's like, if you remember uh, in the first season, she's like, he can't be a foundling. Because, you know, his body would give up on him. He doesn't have the physical strength the to be a Mandalorian. Wait, what? <laughs> the, lady, the lady who makes the armor, the blacksmith, mm -hmm. she told, um, she, she was like, well, you found this child. This child's in your care. You have two choices. You can either raise him because now he's yours or you can tell him, send him to his people. And she was like, okay, but if you train him, I don't think he's going to be able to hold up. Yeah, because, you know, of how small mm -hmm. Yoda's race is. Mm -hmm. they, and if I, and if I train you, she don't even know what the fuck it is. <laughs> no, 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 but that's not the point. The point is, if you raise him, you have to raise him in the way of the Mandalore. And he's like, I don't think I'm equipped to raise this child, even though I know what he can do. Because he's like, this kid is strong on his own. Mm. I, see, <laughs> I see Christian's point. <laughs> uh, my good is... Oh, this is just something small, but we get to see the dark saber. But that's just some wee stuff over here. <laughs> I, I got the Jedi. I don't like that. I got one more. Good. I don't. I, said, did you do your good? I got no good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. I thought maybe even uh, Giancarlo. I thought maybe his appearance would, would, would bring my day. He looks silly too. <laughs> <laughs> like the way he just whipped out the lightsaber, like, oh, you want this? <laughs> and I'm like, could you get that out the baby? <laughs> <laughs> like, that baby's 50. He's a grown man. <laughs> also, well, one of my other goods is I, I like, I mean, I love it was silly. Oh, he just sitting there flaking the stormtroopers all over the road. So, so, so. <laughs> but also, I was like, Okay, that's this. That's going into the bad scene. Because yeah. <laughs> I think me and you are on the same page on that's that. That's my bad. <laughs> and one more. Oh, sorry. Uh, one more good. My baby came back in this episode. Me? <laughs> me not. I was like, oh, fresh, breath of fresh air. And, and I will say, although some people didn't like it, um, mm -hmm. I did like Ultron Boba Fett where he got. All the pieces to the Power Ranger bow, and he just started beasting up. Now, although, I, you know, I'm wait, I'm gonna say that for the band, but like when he goes ham on the stormtroopers, and I get that stormtroopers are supposed to be silly, but will we get? We'll get there. We, we'll get there. All right. So, any more goods? I, I think I'll save this. I, I think I'll save this for later because it, it was a good for me, but it was kind of it was because it was hilarious. Oh. Um, it, it, it does it count as a good or what? If it's a good, it's a good. Okay. I thought it was hilarious and adorable that they made a little shackle for the baby. <laughs> 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 he was like, chain him up. And I'm like, whoop, like, what? <laughs> and then he had the shackle. I was like, and, and that's how we went to the uh, That's how we ended uh, the episode. I thought, <laughs> I, I thought, baby, I thought baby, y'all was going to wake up singing this hard out here for a pill. <laughs> I'm locked up. <laughs> oh, <man>. No. <laughs> so one one minor good. I'm just a hopeful good that I have. Um, 
he's putting a crew together to come rescue uh, Baby Yoda. Mm -hmm. So, um, who's that? Um, <laughs> hopefully, this ragtag team is entertaining. I like it because that means we get Bill Burr back. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't like Bostonians in space? <laughs> but okay, you know, let's move this ship on a little further down the rail road. Well, let's talk about the bats, and there were quite a few. I mean, let's let's dig in. Okay, so here's the thing, y'all, and it's basically like like it. Like he was saying earlier, uh, I was about to call Boba Fett Grogu. I'm sorry. Uh, Boba Fett has only ever looked cool in this in this episode. One, I don't want to see this motherfucker in more episodes. We Too should bad. have been done <laughs> with that and moved on. He's indebted now. Too bad. Two. I'm I'm sorry, but like y'all trying to make this dude into something that he wasn't. I I feel like they they took the rat the rat the retroactive continuity thing with Boba Fett and they pushed it to a certain degree where it's like okay that's enough. And three, do you guys remember a while back when we did a Star Wars video and we were talking about, and I was talking about how they just basically took palettes off of specific characters and put them in the show, mm -hmm. and how The Mandalorian was basically a palette swap for Boba Fett? Mm -hmm. Well, now, since they've confirmed that Boba Fett is a Mandalorian, they fucking confirmed what I was saying. No, they, he's, he's not a Mandalorian. His dad was. He was a family. He's and wearing he, their shit. Yeah, <laughs> because of lineage. Because of lineage. Because if you remember in the past episodes when there were all those other Mandalorians that came on the Fisherman's Planet. Um, Yuck. <laughs> you know, they say... He asked them, where'd you get the armor? She's like, it's been in my family for generations because it gets passed down uh, through lineage. Yeah, if I put on a Wu-Tang Clan shirt, I'm not in the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> not out loud. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Boba Fett, right? Yes. Then there's whoever this guy is. No, 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 there's Jango Fett, his dad. No, no, no. no. he's not talking about the lineage. Okay. You mean John Jaron? Is that his name? Wow, he, he is really <laughs> He is the man dog. Moving on. <laughs> There's Bubble Fat. There's Man dog. They look the same. There's Ken and there's Ryu. <laughs> there's Scorpion and there's the B row. Way different, but okay. Way different. Like, that's the shit I'm talking they're about. Not, they're not even there's, the same there's Yoda way. and there's Baby Yoda. <laughs> Like, two new fucking characters. I may not have liked Bill Burr, but he's a different character. God damn. Sub-Zero and Scorpion are completely different. <laughs> what is the question? That is the same shit. No, it's not. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Nintendo, think of Jennifer. It's all Nintendo to me. Okay, moving on. My bad. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, my bad. Okay, this was so annoying to me because they did it like three or four times. You mean how they shot the same thing eight times? When he kept running over to Baby Yoda and was yeah. trying to get through the force field, and I was like, all right, couple of things. One, um, if first one. If at first you don't succeed, <laughs> <laughs> sit the fuck down. <laughs> You couldn't get through the force field the first time. But John, the power of friendship. No, bullshit. You think you're going to get through it two more times? Two, you're worried. You brought him here to do this. You don't get to pick now when the time is for him to, I don't know, go he ultra instinct. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you It happens do. when it happens. Three, you're worried about his safety and you can't get through the force field what make you think that the stormtroopers <laughs> was gonna get through the fort? Like that one lucky stormtrooper was gonna come out and be like, well, it's a good thing they brought me on this mission. <laughs> and he was gonna bust through that fourth field. You was good just letting Baby Yoda chill out. That 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 was just dumb to me. 
I gotta get this bad off my chest because I don't know who directed this episode. Robert, Robert Rodriguez. Rodriguez. That makes so much sense <laughs> because the school of cliches came out. Oh my god! And, and, and the 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 robots that they showed, they finally showed the robot, and they look like Spy Kids. So, <laughs> so there, was lot, there was a lot of cliches and tropes that I saw in this episode. Like as soon as Mando leave, that in the force field force comes field down, drops. and then the people come, then the robots come down, and then they managed to fly, which took Mando forever to get down that way. But they're able to land and get Yoda off without a hitch. The fact that he was so far from his jetpack that he couldn't just go by and pick it up. But you know, the, or, the, or they blew up his ship and he found <laughs> the one thing that he needed to find that little ball. And it was like, oh, fuck yourself. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> and although this was funny, I was like, this is the campy shit. <laughs> when they're fighting the stormtroopers, and the stormtroopers might as well have spoons in their head mm-hmm. because that's how effective they were. Mm-hmm. And it was like, at first, I was like, okay, it's cool, but then you just. Because, went, it, because the numbers didn't make sense. Exactly. It was Mayna and Mando, and they were doing a whole battalion. Yeah. Not even that. Like, and then another battalion another came not, up. See, though, eight people got off the ship, but they killed 52 people. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying before the backup came, if you go back and look at it. So I'm going to tell you why they were fucking up. Because, and this was something that was annoying to me, too, because they did this a lot with certain things. So here's an example of something. So, Ming-Na is sniping shit down because she's the sniper queen or whatever. And she clearly spot. She clearly has this guy that has the big Gatling gun in her sight. She's literally watching this dude turn around with the Gatling gun <laughs> and does not take a shot. I'm but like, Christian. you had eight hours <laughs> to hot this dude. And you but, didn't. but Christian, she needed to push a boulder down. <laughs> I was like, like and you and, did and, the and, most. And thank you for mentioning the boulder. I forgot about this. Because he just stood there. He stood there and <laughs> shot the boulder like, 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 like right it's yeah. yeah. <laughs> a fucking boulder hit every sword on his way down. I'm like, none of y'all. None of y'all could move. Just silly. Oh, wait, I need the science for two minutes. Silly shit. Can I, can I get two seconds of science? Go for it. The last time I checked, a laser can pl- pl- easily penetrate rock. It's a fucking laser. It was a Gatling gun. Personally. But my thing is, if a laser can penetrate, I, I don't know, forget what the Mandalorian got. But if you get hit by a laser, traditionally you die. You telling me a laser can go through... Most shields and stuff like that, but it can't go through a rock. Exactly. And the thing is, he yeah, had a gat- that's a really big rock. He had a Gatling gun. <laughs> he had a Gatling gun. He should have been able to turn that rock into Swiss cheese. Which is what he thought he was going to do. <laughs> nah. Right. 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 <laughs> and then something else really minor. This wasn't related to the battle, but this is when they met up. Like, Boba Fett, if you want to convince this dude to give you your shit back, then use your words and tell him exactly what the fuck you are. No, I'm gonna just growl at you. Yeah! Oh, it we, might, but, but on the other end of the spectrum, man don't get there with Baby Yoda. He sees the ship coming and immediately says, that's a threat. No, we got to go. Yeah, and I'm like, you don't even know these people. Exactly. You could have went down to talk to them. To be fair. Well, exactly. You don't know them. To and be fair. This kid still has a bounty. Okay, there. but like, that ain't your plan. No, 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 how do you know? How do you know that wasn't a newlywed couple exactly. parking for they can go no pee? There's to a bounty, fair. so he's just like, okay, I'm not even going to take the chance of it maybe and, not being a threat. I'm going to go. But, 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 but after, and, after he if he get, didn't give... Uh, uh, Boba, the suit, then it, they would have been afraid because she would have shot the kid. He could have gave Boba Fett the after suit he if gave, Boba Fett was like, that suit is my father's, he was a fucking Mandalorian. But he took the whole episode to say that, and I'm like, dude, use your word. After he couldn't get Baby Yoda to move, he immediately goes over to attack them instead of just saying, well, I'm going to go get the ship and get the ship prepped. No. Maybe you'll be done no. peeing when I'm done. <laughs> they couldn't have brought the ship over. That's why he said, I have to land somewhere and we trek the rest of the way. Okay, yeah, true. But, oh, wait, wait, okay. Wait, 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 wait. but don't approach what you thought was a potential wait, threat. Wait, one second. To be, what I got this? To be fair, <laughs> every other episode, they've been blindsided and attacked by strangers. 
Okay. And they know, wait, 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 and they know that the Empire has a bounty on them. Okay, and but you're know. literally, you're literally right there. So, so you're watching them come off the ship. Yeah, and you see them packing shit. They weren't packing anything. The, the, what, my, me and I had a blaster. She, had, she had a whole rifle, and he had this big stick thing that he was like, "I'm." How that wasn't with that walking stick? No, he had a stick and a rifle on his back. Okay, that don't mean they fucking with you John, though. They, John, they literally wait, don't wait, wait. take that chance. John, they literally got on a boat and got by <laughs> by fishermen. So when I see people coming off with guns, walking my direction, hey, what are you here to do? Okay, I want you to do that. I want you to go. Well, my thing is, to... why the fuck would you go towards them? Exactly. Because I'm, I'm gonna come with my guns and be like, look, what you want to do? You have one gun. <laughs> Ooh, you, Mando. Why the fuck you had would one you go? Gun, he had his, I'm his sorry. Thing and his flying thing. I'm sorry. Why the fuck would you go towards I, them? Because so you want them to come towards the child. So you want them to come towards the child. You were there. They didn't even know he was there. Yes, they did because she was gonna snipe him. Besides, the blue glowing orb from the fucking sky was like, "Hey, I'm a Jedi." And again, he was just like, he just knew that he couldn't walk through it. He doesn't know if a bullet's gonna get in there, and he doesn't know how long it's going to take, and he can't outrun a bullet. So we sitting there fighting where Baby Yoda is. The shield comes down. Oh shit! Stray laser kills him. And I'm just like, so a it bite looks like you it started the because path you went down, down there and was like, cowboys! <laughs> the same lasers that can't go through rock. But what <laughs> when, 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 when my boy Boba Fett showed up, hey yo, my, you got my daddy chain. I don't know if this is your daddy shit. Yeah, exactly. All he, it literally would have just been solved and they could have all just left the planet as soon as uh, Baby Yoda was done. To be fucking fair. No, even, not even, to be fair. No, because no. it was like, look. My chain code is on the thing. Let me show you. That's literally That's all, all it could have been. He was like, I can prove that it, that it was my dad's. Why the fuck did he say code. that when they were arguing for five minutes? Because exactly. a director needed to pad this episode and out. Was, and, and, you mean and, he didn't get enough of padding it by showing Mando walk back and forth to the portal uh, or uh, whatever? Uh, okay, kid. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, he did, no <laughs> that was only good for 10 minutes. He needed an additional 20. So what he did was he had eight star troopers come off a ship, which turned to 52. And then another ship landed and dropped 100 more. Because in one instance, me not kills eight people. And I was like, damn, that was everybody on the goddamn <laughs> ship. And then eight more came, and I was like... <laughs> 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 those numbers don't match. So, so speaking of numbers, let's talk about the five sentinels that dropped out of the sky that look like spy kids robots. Um, you, you. Well, I was oh, gonna oh, jump on Boba Fett and just. We'll, we'll get back to Boba. Are they, are they called dark troopers or something? Like that? I, I, I guess. I was so, so those were the things we couldn't see two episodes ago yeah. that were in the shadow. Yeah. Okay, this is my thing. Apparently, these are your cream of the crop elite robots. You sending them down? If you sending them down there. They call th them th Droids, okay, whatever. I don't, I don't Star Wars. I don't, you know. You but, don't oh, Star Wars. Oh, 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 robot. <laughs> robot is a robot to me. <laughs> exactly. They look like the Sentinels from X Men: Days of Future Past. They really <laughs> did. They just didn't we're, render all the graphics we're, on. Them. With Spy Kids skin on top of it. Cause I'm sorry. I know Robert Rodriguez. He he uses the same CGI. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucking feel you the final cup pro thing. <laughs> and you can tell too because like when you look at the other aesthetics and CGI, you like, okay, and then you see the robots, you like <laughs> Y'all got Disney movies. And that's what you came but with. But Robert Rodriguez is known for that. That motherfucker shoots on a literal shoestring budget. And I mean, they gave them the money and said, go buy a shoestring. And he was like, and eh, action. <laughs> you, have a, you have a million dollars to shoot this episode. Okay, cool. I only need pocket. 10. <laughs> <laughs> only need 10. <laughs> and you know what? No, I'm sorry, but... What that what those robots did essentially a mailman with a jet. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I was getting to. I was like, you got these badass droids, and they come down. <laughs> <laughs> they come down, and they're and you're thinking, all right, it's about to be some shit. Scoop, let's go. But yeah, 
They didn't even fire a laser. <laughs> it was very anticlimactic because we were like, okay, so they killed all the stormtroopers. How are they going to, you know, get past these people? Mm -hmm. Well, droids, because they're not people. Uh, but really, they were just like, okay, grab the baby, let's go. And I'm just like, so you're not doing any damage? And you look cool for no reason? Wait, wait, speaking of which, I'm sorry, but that is a baby. If you take... A baby in a sub zero orbit. That baby gonna die. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, ain't no oxygen mask on this baby. Hey, I don't care how much force he knows. And uh, I'm sorry, that was just silly. And and and, and, and what made it what made the droids coming down ridiculous is despite the fact that uh they was taking out dozens and dozens of stormtroopers at one point man. took out more than the movie. Yeah. <laughs> at one point man though and then was like, We're surrounded, we can't do anything. <laughs> 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 at, Dude, one point, at, at one point, man, though, and I don't know if y'all saw this, but he squatted down. Yeah. He's like, bring it all, bitch. And I was like, I, I, don't, I get your armor. No, he literally <laughs> took some shots. No, no, he was just standing there. He was like, bring it on and me not use me as a shield. Because that's how crappy their lasers are. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to my next bad. Mm -hmm. Because I'm still trying to figure out how technology works in this galaxy. <laughs> yeah. So there's these two space school buses that take off. And then Boba Fett is able to hit one. And it falls and hits another. So last time I checked, even in 2020, there's these uh, these planes come equipped with this thing called radar. Mm -hmm. Where it knows if something is approaching it. Mm -hmm. So it will move out of the way. So it can move out and make a make a base of well, maneuvers. You gotta what? ask these two questions. One, why the fuck were those ships flying close to each other in the first place? Two, I didn't know it was people still alive to even fly them <laughs> ships. <laughs> yeah, you I'm a yeah. cotton healer, you <laughs> killed 50 men. They turned around. They was like, this shit getting too real. They, they left and went back to And Robert Rodriguez says, I need a moment <laughs> to make these 50-year-old Star, Star Wars men dick hard. And then Boba Fett thing came over his eye, and he shot one and hit the second one. And then to piss on your progress, I was aiming for the other one. No, you, no, you weren't. No, you liar. Weren't. <laughs> like, like, what would that have achieved uh, if you had aimed for the first one? look. I know it, it didn't look cool because Boba Fett didn't look cool. I'm <laughs> sorry, this is my other bad. He looked oh, like garbage. <laughs> All in the like, movie. was that the original guy from the movie? Yeah, yeah, not from the from the original, original Star Wars. Wars. He was the one from Clone. He was Jango Fett in Clone Wars. Okay. Wow, he's the one that Sam. He was Jango Fett in Clone Wars. Yeah, because Jango Fett uh, was Apparently what they Fett made the all the clones for, and so those first stormtroopers. So is he just beating himself up? Clones. Hmm? So he's just beating himself up. No, those the first round were, okay. but that was like years ago. So oh, those are stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah, those pre-order sixty-six. Wait, okay. the stormtroopers are both Storm, stormtroopers are not all clones. Clones of Jango Fett, yeah. No, 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 no they're not. Just there. At first they were, because you know how some of them turned. Yeah, but a lot of them got defective. Why do uh, no, 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 they are just regular people? No, 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 no. They're, they're regular, regular people, people, regular people, people now, now, but they started off as clones. Because you remember when uh, when Obi Wan who, goes who, to who was Boba Fett fighting? Clones or stormtroopers? He's I mean, up, now he's he's fighting actual people. people. Okay. But, but but you remember in uh, episode two, Obi Wan goes to that water planet. Oh. Where, <laughs> Obi, Obi, -Wan, Obi Wan Kenobi goes to a water planet where because he runs up on the clone project by accident. He's like, yeah, clones. Yeah, I know about the clone project. And he gets there and he sees all these clones and they're all clones from this one dude. And because yeah, he was pretending he knew, but he was because he, he but he didn't know. So, pre-order, post-order 66, a lot of those stormtroopers went mad because they was like, oh, shit, those Jedis were our best friends. Why did I do that? And a lot of them went insane because of what they had done, and a lot of the, some of them killed themselves. So, they was like, yeah, we ain't going to do this no more. We just going to grab people and make them do it. Yeah. So, some who <clears throat> turned on the Chancellor's orders, but some who were still in the Federation, and that's why in Episode 3, we still see some of them, you know, flying ships and everything. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad X-Men is a different complicated. <laughs> so speaking of technology, I didn't need to see the robot shit inside of Ming-Na. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 that confused well, me. It, well, that confused, they had to explain how she was alive. That confused me more alive. than that. She took a shot in there. Yeah, but like... No, now, because when um, the 
The Mandalorian got there. She was dead on the floor. Let's cut back to the very beginning where he's by the lead on the page and there's a bunch of polka dots on a flat board. He's like, yeah, we're going to the Flash of Light planet. That's where we landed. And I'm like, what is the technology? <laughs> Guess. Or Battleship. Oh. <laughs> Bells and whistles when it suits them. Yeah. But, uh... So basically, the lesson learned here is Carl Webber should have directed this episode. Yeah, because they did, but would have got a whoop. Going across this here, final thoughts for everyone. Say what you think. Uh, um, I, I hope both. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to see from this ragtag team. It's gonna to me. It's gonna be a bunch of annoying people. Now that I think about it, now that I think about the roster. I don't like that. It's just as long as Carl Weathers joins. So what about you? I think when you try to resurrect a character that was a nothing in the movies and then try to make him more than he is, that you are grasping for straw. It's what they it's what the fans wish they did with Luke Skywalker. Okay, okay. John. And we yeah. can't even deny that. John, what about you? Um Okay, because I, I have a couple of final thoughts. One, so one thing we didn't talk about is uh, Baby Yoda when he was captured and he goes, eh, eh. <laughs> And that's where I was going with that earlier because I'm like, okay, you've basically known, I want to say you've been like training to be a Jedi mm -hmm. for a very long time. Mm -hmm. 30 years. But all you got to do is just have these two stormtroopers play tag with their heads exactly the entire time it, i'm like you're not and then the door opens and you're still doing with these two stormtroopers send them forward get your ass <laughs> and go where <laughs> anywhere that's not on this ship where you don't want to be he moves at the speed of sneeze <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he ain't flying though. okay crash heads Go! <laughs> would have like, he would have like been able to have time, but then I guess and go the away. reasoning for him not being able to do that is because Look, it baby, takes so much out of him. Baby Yoda's not Yoda's not Yoda. Yoda, baby, not Yoda yet. You don't understand. They needed a reason to introduce the baby shadow. <laughs> Look, young Yoda would have got out of this situation. Right? But you but know, as yeah. far as my final thought, I'm just I'm not gonna lie, like it was a dip in quality for me. And knowing that he's putting a team together, I hate it. Look, um, Bill Burr's character on this show, I do not like because I feel like he was he's he a was, cliche. He's a cliche character. Like, oh, I don't like you because you left the team before, and I I was on top after you left, but now you're back, so I'm number two now. That no, not sucks. even that. They had never met each other. Yeah, You've just it, been hearing stories. It, exactly, him. like you're 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 such a badass, and you know, like when when I came in, I was I was top dog, and it's like it's like it's like, the, it's like it would be his first time seeing a black guy. So you're a black guy, huh? Yeah, exactly. I can dunk on you. Yeah. Final remarks on this episode. Um, final re remarks. Uh, I was expecting more. I was hoping for more, but I am still plugged in to see what's gonna happen next. Because uh, I feel like last season only got, what, eight episodes and we're on episode six now. Mm -hmm. We are nearing the end of the season, so hopefully, and this is going to be really upsetting <coughs> if they don't, that they, you know, get it more together for the last two. According to the fans, we're going to get a uh, uh, Samuel. So <laughs> let the fan let the fan. So here's tell the thing. It. Maybe we even, even though even though we don't go into. But uh, you've been dead for fifty years. Old. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, final final thoughts. Uh, this episode, uh, although I, I get his campiness, mm -hmm. uh, I get kind of what they were going for, but uh, I, it wasn't a terrible episode. It was it was just meh. Uh, but you know, I, I can give this season some credit because it has had more high moments than low ones. So hopefully, I think they, I hope they can keep the trend going with this uh, rescue mission that they're trying to put together, uh, sort of suicide squad that they're trying to put together. But um, all in all, uh, it was just an okay episode. I'll probably give it like a B minus or C. Uh, but that's our take on it. Maybe yours is a little bit different. Maybe we missed some things, a little some other chicanery that was going on. But we were probably rolling our eyes too hard to pay attention. But like and subscribe. Thank you guys for giving us your time spans. But until next time, his name is Grogu. Yes, it is. So, like, 
you Put give some respect on his name. No. So so they give so they give Robert Rodriguez a million dollars and he's like, I only need ten. And they're like, sure, ten thousand? <laughs> no, no, no. Ten dollars. No, 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 even <laughs> ten cents. And if, and if that a pack of uh, big lead chew, I'll take that too. <laughs> What are you gonna use it for? CGI. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then he went to spot kids. Like, you know the graphics we use for this scene? Mm -hmm. Can I copy and paste it? Because <laughs> if you notice, the robots never really came into contact with anybody. Exactly. Except they, 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 they dropped yeah. from the sky, one picked Yoda up, and then they rose up again. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow. Yeah. 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 Spy Kids are grown now. You know that you know they shoot one with the Spy Kids. They all yeah, it came out like last. But who's not in it though? Wait, last week. Are you talking about 